I'd like to say a few words about my Celestron Omni XLT 150. It's a Newtonian telescope and a mountain tripod. Uh, as of this morning, it retails for $739. You can probably pick it up for maybe a $699. It has a 150 millimeter aperture, 750 millimeter focal length which makes it an F5, which is a fast Newtonian. Most Newtonians sold today are Dobsonian, and they run usually a, a F6 to an F8, so they're longer and sit in that box. Um, this is designed for visual use and not photography. However, you can take photographs by uh, putting the cone on the camera and stick it into the 1.5 millimeter or 1.5 inch adapter or you can uh, use the 2 inch focuser which is what I do uh, but if you're going to use the 2 inch fo focuser for your camera you're going to need an extension about that long. It has a uh, single speed all metal Tracer style focuser, which is really smooth. It's a nice focuser. It's kind of heavy uh, if you're elderly and feeble. It weighs 12.4 pounds, and that's without a without the uh, finder scope or the camera or the eyepiece. No, it takes two inch uh, two inch eyepieces too. It's not it's not difficult to collimate. And once you collimate, it holds collimation for a long time. Uh, I can't use an 8 inch. 6 inch is about as big as I can use for two reasons. One, I can't pick an 8 inch up this high. And two, I'd need a heavier mount for an 8 inch. So 6 inch is my limit. But that's still a fairly nice telescope. The mount is a CG4, which is a little weaker than the CG5. Uh, it weighs 23 and a half pounds plus 11 pounds for the counterweight. CG5 weighs too much for me to haul out here. Um, it's a good mount. I have, what do I have? Like uh, uh, eight, 19, telos, uh, 19 optical tubes, and this will handle any of them. So this is my heaviest optical tube. Uh, it's got rain circle. Now, it does not come with a motor drive like this one. This one has a our computerized motor drive, I added that. Normally comes with slow motion controls. Um, it's a nice telescope. I'll include a few pictures I took using this scope and this mount. The tripod, by the way, I could drive a car over this tripod and it, and it would hold it. It's a strong tripod. The mount uh, is uh, rated for 20 pounds, but uh, it, this thing don't wiggle. It's pretty solid. The this mountain tripod sells for 3.99 by itself, and I have another. I have a 102 millimeter refractor, big long thing. It also comes on this mount and a 120 millimeter long refractor, which I don't own, also comes on this mirror. Parabolic mirror, easy to collimate, nice focuser. Uh, oh, like most re reflector, Newtonian reflectors, the return mirror is right here. Right here, near the front. I have an 11 inch aluminum dew shield I bought for my SCTs. It fits right on here and works perfectly and gives you a nice 11 inch dew shield. That's an extra uh, $90 or so. Uh, yeah. No, that's about it. A lot of folks who don't like the little two and three hundred dollar telescopes I've been reviewing think that this is the 
ba uh, the, the cheapest beginner's telescope you can get by with. Ed Zane, for instance, says it's no good for photography. It's good for photography. He says it's something you can learn on. Well, it is something you can learn on. A lot of people don't want to spend $739 for their first scope. Oh, this was my second scope. My first scope was a 10-inch Dobsonian. It was so heavy, uh, 64 pounds. I drug it out here one night. I was down on my back three days. I had to give it away the, the second day I owned it and bought this. It was too heavy for about six months for me to drag out here. But all in telescopes back and forth. After about six months, I built up enough strength. I was able to bring the mount out in one trip, bring the uh, counterweights out, and then bring the optic tube out, and push this optical tube up onto the mount. So if you're young and strong, you got $739 in light Newtonians. This is a great buy. If you're elderly and feeble, uh, you might want to stick with a short tube 80 and a handlebar mount. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is my nice six-inch Newtonian, and that's all I had to say about it. So, oh no, I I want you to please subscribe. I need subscribers, and I don't have as many as I would like. It doesn't cost anything. It does me a lot of good, and uh, yeah. So until I see you again, happy trails.